Justice Sotomayor? I, I am a little bit concerned with your answer to Justice Kagan. Um, you seem to suggest that a congressional clear statement rule could include something very plain statement rule could include something indirect, like um, 2255H um, says uh, you can't have a successes petition on this issue, um, that that would eliminate 2241 and that that wouldn't create a, a constitutional problem. Uh, and by that I mean is someone who's completely innocent of the charge, given your wide definition of innocence, okay, there is no way to look at what they did as fitting the statutory terms that have now been described by this court. There's no inference that could be drawn from the evidence that they did it. They're completely innocent. You're suggesting that that wouldn't create a Fifth and Eighth Amendment problem? Well, first of all, Your Honor, I wouldn't say that that's a wide definition of innocence. But the other thing I would say I, I'm, is— I'm, yeah. I'm using the words of my colleague, Justice Gorsuch. I'm spotting you that. Um, so I spot it for you and, and accept that, all right? But totally innocent under any definition you use. Well, Your Honor, I don't think there's a problem with that here, because what we're talking about is whether Congress is required to give a further shot at collateral review in these circumstances. I think Felker against Turpin is quite clear that when it looked at the parallel limitations in 2244B, that Congress is free to statutorily alter the abuse of the writ, and I think by analogy the successive uh, writ doctrines to preclude relief in these circumstances. I mean, these cases do have to reach conclusion at some point. And if Congress decides, and we're, it's evident that it has decided, that, look, you know, you're just not going to be able to bring these kinds of claims anymore, then I think Congress's judgment is within its constitutional authority. Our point here is that Congress just hasn't made that judgment, and in fact, it's got this saving clause specifically just to make sure that whatever the federal habeas remedy would allow is still there, and that's the kind of claim that we're talking about here today. Extraordinary. Okay. 